Hi, this is Amir Basha. In this session, we are going to explain how to work with the branches using Visual Studio 2015. The main agenda of this session is one, we are going to explain you how the JIT works. Second, that I am going to explain you how to create the branches and how to delete the branches using Visual Studio 2015 by connecting to the remote repositories. Third, I am going to publish and push the branches to the remote repositories. Finally, I will show you how to switch from one branch to another branch when you are working with development area. So first of all, let me explain the JIT workflow. So when you are working in real time scenarios or you know when you are working on the development part, first you need to create a branch on the project. So you will create a branch from the master of your code. Second, when you are making the changes of your project and then you are going to making a multiple commits for a bug or for a feature. Next, then you are going to push the changes to your branches. Right? So you are going to be committing the changes on your local and then you are going to push this branch to the remote repository. Then you are going to create a pull request so that other people can also review your changes and then finally they can complete the pull request and then they will dissolve if there are any merges is required from one branch to another branch. So this is the workflow of the JIT. First you are going to create a branch, committing your changes, pushing your branch to remote repository then creating a pull request and then finally you are going to complete your review or completing your pull request. So first of all let me tell you what is this branch, what is git branches. Git branches keep an exact, exact history of the commits. Committing the changes to a branch will not affect other branches and you can share these branches with others without merging the changes into your main project. You can create new branches to isolate the changes for a bug or, from, uh, or for a feature from your master branch. Since the branches are lightweight, switching between branches is quick and easy. Git doesn't create multiple copies of your source when you are working with the branches. So simply we can say branches are lightweight and we are easy to switch between one branch to another branch. And Git does not create multiple copies of your source code when you are working with the branches. Let me show you how we are going to create the branches and how we are going, if there are any multiple copies or not in your local folder. Let me show you that one. So I am switching into the Visual Studio 2015. So in the previous sessions, I have already explained how to create repositories and how to publish the repository into the remote. And after that, how you are going to create a clones, right? So I am going to connect into the my, you know, team and after that I have already connected to my test jet. Okay. So if you see on my screen, there are different different options when I connect it to the, my project. If you see Visual Studio Team Services, I have connected to my project called test jet. If you see over here, there's a lot of options. One is changes, pull requests, work items, builds, sync and branches and we are having settings also. So as of now that we are working with the branches, I am going to click on the branches. Alright. So what I have to do, I am having in my master, I am having the master copy of my development of my code. Now I need to create a branch from the master. Alright. So what I am going to do, I am just clicking on my master and then I'm going to create a new local branch from. If you see, I'm just right clicking on the project and then I'm going to create a new local branch. So if you're working on a branch, right, you need to work on a branch. So you are working for a bug or a feature or what kind of thing, you're going to create a branch, right? Let me tell you, I'm working on my uh, releases. Let's assume I'm going to work on my February monthly changes or else I'm going to work on the 
project just say development so I'm going to say February development I'm just giving February development so how I'm going to create a branch on my master itself so I'm just selecting an option, check out the branch. If you see the remote repository, there's a lot of things, but forget about this one as of now. That I'm simply saying, I want to create a branch from the master using Feb development monthly. So in my master that I'm having all my code changes previously, right? And I'm going to say, create a branch. If you see, immediately there, the branch has been created with the name of Feb de development. But if you see in my remote, I don't have any branch. I will show you how to push this one into remote repository. So now that I'm going to work it out with web development monthly branch. So this branch you can share it to others when you're going to publish it to the remote repository. As of now, this is in my local. Okay, let me check. I am going to connect with my branch. So if you see, this won't create multiple copies of the source code let me show you so when you are created the branch i don't find any kind of thing this is a, so everything is in the same project so test the get get training practice everything is the same i'm not going to create multiple uh, you know branches in my local so this is the advantage of the uh, you know git branches okay I'm just opening my Visual Studio, uh, my project called Git Training Practice.sln. How do we know on which branch that we are going to work it? If you see at the you know bottom of the Visual Studio 2015, you can find it out what are the branches that I'm having on my local. If you see over here, I'm having master and after that web development, right? So I'm as of now, if you see the highlighted one is that. The way is, which is web development and we are working on the test git repository and there's the changes it's already checked out so you have one changes one file change okay let me show you these are all the files that what i are having okay so you can make any kind of changes and you can push it this pro you know changes into your local repository first and then you can push the project into your remote repository. So right now that I'm going to work on the web development. So in my local branch, but others can't check it. First, let me see how we are going to so is it visible or not. As it already discussed, please connect to you know team for team explorer and then go to testing it. Okay. And if you see, I'm just clicking on the branches and web portal, and I don't find, and I can find all the branches till now, whatever I have worked. If you see, I have given FQL 17 dev and a lot of things I have given, but I don't see web development over here. Why? So the branch has not yet pushed to remote repository. Okay, so let me work on the changes first. So I'm just saying. Uh, on my solution explorer, I need to add a new file. I'm going to add a new file. Right click, add new item. I'm just simply saying for the uh, FQL development, I'm saying I'm just adding a web form. Let us zoom. I'm going to delete. I'm just saying web. web. It, it's, I'm just giving it a name, and after that, I'm going to add it. If you see, my webweb.aspx has been added into the solution. Let me check it out in my local also. If you see, webweb has been added, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, first of all, I'm going to committing my changes or else I'll make some of the changes over here a little bit. I'll say this is code chain as part of as part of feb monthly okay now what i'm going to do uh, i'm just building the solution 
and after that I am just pushing this to my remote right so let me do that one so first of all what I need to do I need to make the commit the changes right so there is one thing is that okay when without changing or without committing the changes you can't push it to the remote repository so so just it's a get information that what I am giving as of now to commit I'm just giving my user ID and credentials and then you can see all the changes while you are going to committing it so I will show you in the next session how to commit the changes okay there's a lot of features that we are having as of now this time saying okay commit changes so I'm just selecting option commit all and sync as of now that I'm using only commit all so what it will do it will when you're going to commit all it will just commit the changes into your local that's it and it won't you know sync to other branches okay so as of now what we have done it we have just connected we have just committed the changes now if you see right now I am working on the web development so some of the people has to work in between to other branch how can we switch from one branch to another branch All right if you see over here simply I can go for the end of the screen and if you see I can switch from one branch to another branch by simply selecting the one of the branch okay so what will happen when you are going to you know switching from one branch to another branch the code changes automatically it will fetches all the code changes related to the master so how can we confirm this project has been moved to you know uh, moved to you know master or not if you see over here in my feb monthly in feb development i had just added one of the project called one of the file called feb develop feb web but i don't see this feb web over here so that means what are the master having or the changes has been replicated over here let me show you again i'm just switching to feb development you can see it is automatically refreshing and it is going to get my project called or what are the changes that have made it so this is the advantage of the you know git branches so it won't create multiple branches in your local but it internally manages the branches and it can switch from one branch to another branch very easily so this is one of the hiccup that what we have so if you're not committing the changes on your local you are unable to you know switching from one branch to another branch let me show you when you're going to add it it won't switch to without committing the changes okay this is one of the main uh, you know main part of the program you can't switch it from one program to another program oh, one branch to another branch okay so now we are in the master uh, we are in the feb develop let me make it to feb development and then I am going to what I am going to do I am going to publish this branch into remote how I am going to do that one let me go to the team explorer right right click on the branch if you see I am having the option called publish branch okay so I'm going to just clicking on the publish branch you can see over here when I'm going to refresh it in my program okay so I have already successfully published the branch to origin so let me check it out first in my visual studio in my remotes in my remotes if you see over here there's a web development has been no we have done that when the web development branch has been published into the remote repository so let me check it out over here in visual studio web portal i'm just going to refresh it okay you can see immediately web development has been published up to four minutes ago okay i'm just publishing it so that's the reason this is all the product over here you can clone from this branch and you can create a branch from web portal also okay so as of now we have seen how to create from the visual studio but we can also do the same kind of thing from the web portal also how we can do so if you see there's a new branch out there if what are the branch name let me give feb bugs 
I'm just working on the box and I'm going to create it from the master and then I'm going to say create it. Okay, so the fab box has been created. Okay, as of now, this is the thing that what I am going to work. And then if you, if you see the history, view history. So this is all the things you, you can easily check it out. See the master when I went merged it, so it was still in master, and then I have created a you know uh, made a small changes in commit. So how this history is going to be managed in global? It will take everything will be taken care by the you know git repository. You don't have to worry about that one. Okay. So we have explained how to create the branches and how to publish the branches and push it so publishing is nothing but when there is there is no branch at all so it was no branch there is no branch in uh, no in remote repository so what i have done i just published the band into a remote repository by using option called publish and then i can i have made some of the changes so the branch already published to you know remote repositories or remote location so what i have to do if i again i have made some of the changes by just simply selecting the push option that i can push the changes into my remote repository i will explain you these things in between into the i know in the later session okay thank you thank you very much so in this session that we have you know observed how to create a branch and how to publish the brand branches into the remote repository and uh, how to switch from one branch to another branch all right if you have any queries i will be available on bashar.tamir86.gmail.com you can ping me at any time thank you thank you very much